Good afternoon, folks. You are witnessing the major madness of the year 2024. A revolution is taking place before your eyes. I don't even know if I should say in the auto or aviation world. Let's say the auto aviation world. Yes, that is the term that is now inherent in China. The most important thing is that next month in December, the official pre-order for this vehicle will start. The price will be less than 2 million yuan, while in Europe they have spent the last 10 years learning how to add 30 horsepower to a car, the Chinese have learned how to do what you see on the screen. So friends, I'm entering the future. It weighs 720 kilograms. The main part of the body is carbon. The maximum flight altitude is less than a thousand meters. It charges from the car. It has a total of six charging cycles. On each cycle, it can fly for about 15 minutes, after which it returns. When the battery starts to run out, the helicopter automatically returns to its mother. It goes inside, and the car charges it, and it can fly again for 15 minutes. In addition to the standard battery it flies on, it also has a backup battery, just in case something happened to the main battery. Let's assume it fails there. The backup battery is turned on, and it automatically, immediately goes back. They claim you can learn to drive it, or more correctly, fly, in five minutes. And in three hours, you'll be a professional. There are two systems. The first is autopiloting, and the other is manual. It's actually very simple. We fly ahead, gaining speed. We fly back, first we slow down if we were going forward, then when we fly back. Next, we turn to the left, we turn to the right, flying to the left, flying to the right. This little control stick, we push up, we fly, we're going up, push it down, we're going down. It's simple, seriously, this is amazing, it feels unreal. All right, let's go higher. About the comfort of the seats. Here, as you can see, with a height of 187 centimeters, I practically hit the ceiling. My legs are fine. The seat is soft, but I can't say it's very comfortable here. And also, I have a tablet here. The materials are Alcantara. Everything else is plastic. There's not much luxury here. What do we know next? It has six propellers, but can fly with four. If one fails, it will automatically return you to the point from which you took off. Even if the second fails, you can still land with four. Here, just like the copter. Anyone who has a copter knows you can't just land it in the grass on rocks. You need a flat enough surface for it to land on. So, if you want to manually land it anywhere and it doesn't fit there, it will let you know that you can't land here. And it'll suggest to you where you can do it. It means there's so many sensors, LIDARs, cameras, and everything else that it won't let you crash. They call it a flying car, although it doesn't really look like one. It's more like a small helicopter. The only amenities I have here are climate control. Climate control and a tablet. That's all I got. They say it will be less than 2 million yuan. Just think about it. Less than 2 million yuan. For this, it's really shocking. How safe it is and whether there will be any pitfalls 
I think only time will tell. Somehow, people went from airships to Boeing 777, by exactly the same process, learned from mistakes and everything. It's impossible to stop it. This is what people want. You know guys, honestly, I'd have to be committed to a mental institution if I went from a Yangwang U-8 to some ancient German junk today. But the amazing thing is, compared to this car, the Yangwang U-8 is now ancient junk. And it's starting to get scary. What China will have in 30 years, for example. Yesterday was the official release, and despite the fact that next month the official pre-order starts for any Chinese citizens, in the last 24 hours, 13 major companies have already signed a contract with Xpeng Aeroth to buy 2,000 of these cars. That is, they will get them very first for corporate use. They have recently started building a factory that will be capable of producing 10,000 cars a year. It's a six-wheeled hybrid, all wheels drive. The rear wheels steer. At what degree they're keeping it a secret for now. Five and a half meters long, two meters wide and two meters high. The doors open like this. Unfortunately, I can't show you the interior design on camera. They keep it a secret. 22 inch wheels, 275 by 45. There is air suspension and height adjustable ground clearance. How much it can be raised. They're keeping it under wraps for now. The front is flattened. I think you can see through the windshield how long the dash is. There is a built-in video recorder. To drive this SUV in China, the same license category as for regular cars is enough. But outside of China, in some countries, you will likely have to take a category exam for trucks, buses, and so on and so forth. As the weight of this vehicle exceeds three and a half tons. But to control a flying car, this tiny helicopter, you will have to get a special license. However, Xpeng claims that it's simple to get it. More detailed information we are likely to learn in portions until the start of delivery of cars to customers in 2026 year. I really hope to get a chance to test drive the SUV itself and fly its heli in the near future. Most likely, the SUV will have two or three electric motors for some thousand horses, a powerful internal combustion engine generator, and of course a huge battery. Overall, we will learn more details later. Thank you all for your attention. If you liked it, you know what to do. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. I'll say goodbye. See you soon.